Hi, I'm Joetta, a Best Buy home expert. And today, we're going to talk about Wi-Fi hotspots, including public, mobile, and smartphone hotspots. To connect, you need to be within range of the hotspot's wireless signal. Once in range, you can search for available Wi-Fi networks on your device, select the hotspot's network, and enter the password to connect. All right, let's take a look at the different kinds. Standalone or mobile hotspots, like this simple mobile Moxie 4G mobile hotspot, are helpful when you need to get online in a location that doesn't have Wi-Fi. They're small and portable, so you can take them wherever you go. Mobile hotspots are self-contained devices that include their own wireless modem and battery. They can create a Wi-Fi network anywhere there's cellular data coverage. To use a mobile hotspot, you'll need a mobile data plan that includes hotspot data, like the simple mobile hotspot 15 gigabyte 30 day plan. You'll also need to turn on the hotspot and configure it with the name and password. Another popular hotspot you might already have is the one built into your smartphone. On a smartphone, a hotspot is a feature that allows you to share your phone's internet connection with other devices. Activating the hotspot feature on your phone creates a Wi-Fi network that other Wi-Fi enabled devices can connect to. To use the hotspot feature on your phone, you'll need to enable it in your phone settings and configure it with the name and password. On the Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus, I have its hotspot set up with the Wi-Fi name of the mobile lab, and my password is already entered. Keep in mind that using your phone as a hotspot can use a lot of data and drain your phone's battery quickly. It's also important to note that not all phone plans include hotspot data. You may need to check with your service provider to purchase additional data or a specific hotspot plan to use this feature on your phone. And there's more. Another type is a public Wi-Fi hotspot, which is a physical location where you can access the internet using a Wi-Fi connection. These hotspots are usually in public places, like airports, coffee shops, and libraries. Some businesses might also offer Wi-Fi hotspots as a service to their customers. They allow you to connect to the internet using your smartphone, laptop, or other Wi-Fi enabled devices, like this Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. Some public Wi-Fi hotspots are free, while others might require a fee or subscription. Some might also have data limits, usage restrictions, or ask you to agree to specific terms and conditions before you're able to use it. This information is usually posted on a landing page when you first connect. Keep in mind that the speed and reliability of the internet connection at a public Wi-Fi hotspot may vary. Some hotspots may be more crowded, leading to slower connection speeds, or even the inability to connect to Wi-Fi. Public hotspots can be very convenient when you need access to the internet on the go. Still, it's important to know the potential security risks when using a public hotspot. Using a virtual private network or VPN is an excellent idea to protect your data and privacy. We have another video with more information about VPNs. There's a link in the notes below. And there you have it. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you're ready to start, visit a blue shirt in one of our stores. Check out the options on bestbuy.com or use the link below to set up time with a Best Buy home expert like me. We'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching.